It's a deal whereby a Shia minority militia is likely to dominate Yemen politics for the time to come. On Sunday, Houthis bombed their way through the capital Sana'a, taking almost every major government building, as well as the military general command. By the time they completed the assault, a comprehensive peace agreement was signed. The president called it historic. With all the parties and factions supported by the international community, we have secured this historical agreement, which we hope will bring a new dawn to Yemen. We commend the efforts of the UN Special Envoy Jamal Ben Omar, so I urge all to work together so we can implement this agreement with immediate effect. The UN brokered agreement has tackled nearly all the major issues facing Yemen, but came short on specifics in some crucial aspects, such as security and the Houthi takeover of the capital. The president holds transparent consultations with all parties to establish a technocrat government within a month from the formal signing of the agreement. The current government will continue to run the country until a new government is formed. It must be inclusive of all representatives of society. The duties of the government will be delegated centrally, but also on a federal level. Within three days from signing the deal, the president must appoint two political advisors, one from Ansar Allah and one from the Southern Peace Movement. A new nonpartisan prime minister must be appointed. Other points include a special committee to reform the economy and regulate prices. Another special body will be tasked with resolving the security situation in the northern areas that are now under Houthi control. But the agreement did not clearly say when the Houthi fighters will pull out from the capital or when they will put down their arms. The Houthis have repeatedly said their campaign to topple the government will only come to an end once the deal is fully implemented. Their offensive started from their stronghold in the north. From there, they surged south, taking a string of strategically important cities before reaching the capital. In Sana'a, their supporters staged mass demonstrations demanding a more inclusive government and cuts to fuel prices. But some observers say the real goal of the group is to seize power and rule Yemen with the alleged backing of Iran. The latest violence is the biggest challenge Yemen faces in its transition to democracy. The Houthis have for a long time refused to turn into a political party. Several peace agreements between them and Yemeni governments crumbled in the past. Sunday's agreement is feared to be no exception. In view of the unique circumstances under which it came to light, Mohammed Val, Al Jazeera, Sana'a.